Those of you who don't know, I'm Ravada, artist of Fairy Queens. I'm here with Jeff today to take on this challenge. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. It's so real seeing your murals and then seeing your football critter NFT collection. So I am a huge fan. I am super nervous. We gotta have a little bit of little bit of challenge spirit in it to keep things to keep things. But yeah, while you're doing that, I will explain the game. We will have two pictures. I have one picture, and Jeff has another picture. I'll be drawing on my canvas, Jeff will be drawing on his canvas. We'll switch every five minutes for six rounds. And at the end, we'll have two art pieces. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three. Quick maths. Right, let's start in 10, nine, one, <laughs> let's go. Just go for it, okay. Is that yeah, Adobe yeah. Fresca? No, this is Photoshop. Oh, oh my God, I didn't know you could draw in Photoshop. Like. I just looked up and saw what was happening. That looks insane. Three, two, oh. what? <laughs> well, that, yeah, that, don't, that should work. All right. <laughs> this guy. Ten, five, one. Yeah, it was like I drew my whole life, but like I, sorry, I got so focused. The shirt is so fun to color in. Yeah, I used to draw when I was younger, and then I really got into photography, and I was like, you know what, I really, really miss drawing. And then NFTs came around, and I was like, it's like, like we can, com sorry, I'm like stuttering because I don't know how to multitask. Oh, time's up. <laughs> it just seems like it layers it. <laughs> what? Yeah, so I decided to redraw the entire collection because I like we decided to like show the entire journey. These type of characters express their emotions very, very differently. So everything's a lot more like exaggerated, more like magical. I've always been into like a pen and ink style stuff with like a lot of lines, the kind of kind of a sketchy feel. <laughs> I did not add much. I was trying to draw this little creature and then it ended up a little scary. Please let me know what you think this creature is at the bottom. It's like a, let me see. Like a little koala. <laughs> I love that, I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> For these events, they're like so new, so I'm excited to see where they go. Weird looking animal right next to yours. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people would want to know, like, what was the first, like, mural you did? Or, like, what was, like, the starting point of, like, your art journey? Yeah, so during, during college, I was just going to abandoned places and, like, painting a ton. Really trying to, like, do a lot of character work and was really inspired by Australian and Eastern European graffiti that's very heavy in character work. And so I was trying to go to as many abandoned spots in, in the city that I live in to, to paint and I was just taking like house paint and just kind of going for it and I almost got caught by the by the police and my then girlfriend my now wife was like hey maybe you should try and figure out how to do this legally so then I started just asking different businesses if they would let me paint that it's very rare for someone to approach and be like hey you should do this for me um, you have to go out and you to ask, you need to ask many times and just keep asking. Oh, a lot of, a lot of wolves, and, or <laughs> like same thing. Like people would be like, "Is that a rat?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> it <was a> <laughs> so to get a drink, this guy, I was just chatting with him, and he accidentally like he, he cut in front of me, and I was just like, oh, "Okay, whatever. I mean, I'm down. I'll, I'll wait." And then he turned around, and was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I cut in front of you." I'm like. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine, like, you're fine, I'm, I'm gonna get the drink, and then, then we just started chatting a little bit, and he asked, like, what it is that I do, and he's like, oh, that's cool, cool. like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm actually, I own the company that sponsors the away team, and I was like, what? Oh my god. <laughs> and he's like, I need a mural for my office in, in Irvine, like, do you wanna, do you wanna come by and see it? And I was like, sure. So, <laughs> I'm um, actually going to do that tomorrow, you know, being a nice person, reaching out, and uh, good things come. That's really good advice to anyone, like, starting out in any field. I know, I, like, before I was, like, really scared to, like, do those sort of things, because I would get really, like, nervous, or I was, like, I think I was just really scared of rejection, especially, like, when I started photography, I was, like, super young, so there was always, like, a nerve-wracking feeling like they're going to reject me, because they don't think, like, 
a 15 year old or 16 year old can handle a shoot like with this many people there and so it would like really stop me from taking the most out of like some opportunities like presented to me when I was younger and I feel like just learning about meeting meeting people and like saying yes to like the coffee or like whatever even if it's like out of your way or like far or something that you don't think's like like you think like there's no chance like anything will ever happen just like having the genuine interest to like meet meet new people in your field is like amazing <laughs> The NFT, the NFT space, space was that, that people were down to have those sort of meetings, you know, Discord or Google Meet or whatever, and you could have that same sort of interaction without ever leaving your house and have the kind of meet. And like, oh dang, this is, this is going to be super powerful, and if people are are down for that sort of thing. Oh, are we switching? Sure. Let's let's do it now. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many new colors. There's brushes that you just love and they get the job done. But I've been trying to put just a little bit more grit into the work and so like I'll just like grow random ones that I haven't used before and just try and use it not, not even for the purpose that it was intended. I'm constantly on freelance and like just going for it. I think so much of the NFT space is like people like yourself who are just down to like, let's just try it. Let's see what's up. Like what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. I totally like, talk to other artists about it. I'm like, hey, you should really look into NFTs. Like especially some of the women in, in my life who, who, who draw, I'm like, yo, there's this moment, like, I feel like as a female artist, there's this really sick moment in, in the world of the NFTs where it's just, you know, people are actively looking for that, and that's, that's just not been the case throughout history. Especially with, like, Instagram, like, opening up NFTs for a larger range of audience, like, there's, there's just so much happening here. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> with you. <laughs> well, the thing that makes it difficult is it's hard to explain and if you're not in it, you just can dismiss it as like, well, that doesn't make sense. And there's some parts of it that are true, but then like art in general has never made sense. Like, yeah. It's not like I'm going to draw a wolf that kind of looks like a rat. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Real world. And... So it's, it's okay for things to be like kind of ambiguous, you know, like not, not really certain of what, what, is, what is happening and it's a certain amount of like confidence in yourself to be okay with that. And this is our last one, last iteration. I will send it over to you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Long for the ride. <laughs> Hanging on. Being kicked. Let's see if I can draw a soccer ball. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I mean, you just throw a circle on there and it's an accident. There's something about yeah. it. The more we do digital things, the more we're going to want analog aspects of it. And I think that's why NFTs have had like a, such a positive reaction. Because there is, like, it's, it's inherently digital, but it doesn't really work unless there's a, a physical component, that physical component with the community. Sorry, my dogs are not going to be best part of their day is having right now. Yeah, there's definitely a lot that I want to explore with it and got into NFTs by seeing artists I knew just get into NFTs and being able to be a part of their story. Learned how to like find people that like really stand for like the same morals as you. This brings me back like the style of drawing where you're just like chatting and drawing is for sure like it's just high school. I feel like I always look so focused whenever drawing. And it's a completely different face than my regular face. Just really big into what I am drawing on mm. paper, what I am putting on paper. And it is five Ooh. minutes. <laughs> oh! Oh! I love it so much. Heck yeah. I'm so, the colors are insane. I love this color palette. The color palette is fun. I want to give a big thank you to Jeff. Yeah, show him, show him the love. This is this was such a great challenge. Awesome. Well, well thank, thank you so much for having me. This is super cool. Like the way you set it up. I mean. <laughs> thank you. I can't. I can't wait to do it again. Thank, thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me. And we will go off in three, two. All right. One. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Ah! Oh, hi there. I think I lost my sleepy friend. I lost her at the party. But I know just the thing. Let's take some fairy dust. Take the fairy dust. Let's share the fairy dust with our friends. 